Hello my beautiful fountain friends, welcome to Creepy Nibs, I am the Countess, and today we're gonna go through all of the swatches that I never filmed videos for. Um, yeah, there's a bunch, there's a lot, like all of, all of this, I'll be showing it on the Midori MD cotton paper, along with the coloring as standard, and Tomori River 52 white and old. The Colorverse Nebula Note got it in an ink flight long time ago. I love it. It's great. I wish the binding was a little bit more sturdy, but look, it opens super flat. It's just, it's great. You know, we, we live and we learn. And sometimes we have to accept things. Um... Could be worse. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Um, here we go. Here we go. All right. First one. We have the beautiful, legendary, illustrious Mont Blanc William Shakespeare red. Incredible. Oh, this is one of. It's probably like. Mm, it's S tier red. Here it is next to uh, corn poppy that I just so happen to have out here. Shakespeare's darker. A bit more, uh, kind of a, ooh, like a little, I don't know how to describe it, but, um, I like Corn Poppy better. I hate, I hate Mont Blanc for discontinuing it. I am so happy that I have a bottle. I would probably want to die if I didn't. Um, I mean, I want to die. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, most of these samples are from, uh, Manda or Casey. Amazing. Well, all of them. I didn't buy any of these. I have been on kind of a ban because unemployed and all. But I have stuff that I love to share. And I love it. But there's these two next to each other. In case you're curious. Not too dissimilar. But in the same family. Like Big Daddy and Little Mama. We love it. Oops, oops, that's the wrong one. Hold on. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> just, uh, let's just clip this together. I have so many cards to put in my ring, and my ring is big enough the way it is. And that's not even the ring they're going on. They're going on this one, which is significantly smaller. But these are all the, the friend samples that I've received. Um, yeah, cool. Shake a spear. I guess we can do all of these, like, at the end. I'll just show you the cards for now, because I need to jog my memory on what all of these are. But, sneak peek. That amazing shimmer. And that paper texture underneath. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, these are Q-tip. This is a brush. Cool. We got Birmingham soft pretzel. Love soft pretzels. Probably my favorite food. Without a doubt. I love a good soft pretzel. Mm, camera's cutting out a bit of like the pink undertones that this has in it. But it's really pretty. It's a really nice brown. Excellent shading. Look at that. That real dark and that real light. Ooh. We stand. Love it. Why did I try to show you the back? Uh, and here we have uh, the hamburgers and root beer. Hamburgers and root beer. Um, this is a really pretty kind of cool purpley brown. It's definitely a purpley brown and not like a brownie purple. It's really nice. It's kind of desaturated, but it's like, oh, it's super good. Yeah, super dark. Super light. Excellent variation. I love Birmingham inks. They're great. Pretty, like, normal bog standard for the most part, but it's a good bog. A lot of wonderful life grows in the bog. Here we have it. Fox the Squirrel. I don't remember all the, like, names for the places that these are. I didn't write them on the card. But this is another really pretty brown. 
There's the three of those compared. Definitely differences in variation, and that is just, I don't know what happened there, but I'm very happy with it. <laughs> it's really nice. Hell yeah, fox squirrel. We have Birmingham Dewberry, Dewberry, also a really excellent amount of variation. It's really nice. Reminds me a lot of Diamine Damson that I could dig for in the in the the big ring, but I'm not going to. This is really pretty. <clears throat> Gray purple, like really. I don't know if you can see it. It's not really. It's it's like a haloing effect. Where this is like a much lighter purple on the outside. It's so nice. Very nice. I like all of the inks that are featured here pretty much. I don't think there's any that I'm like, eh, about. They all have something to them that makes me happy inside and outside. Here we have a Papier Plume Bloody Pumpkin. This is really nice. I guess it's red. It's an orangey red, but it's red. I would call it a or maybe I'd call it an orange. I don't know. It's in that in-between phase. It's, it's really great. Nice solid. Not a whole lot of uh, variation in the swatch, but up here. Pretty good stuff, depending on whether you're wet or dry. It's going to be a lot more red or a lot more orange. Ooh, ooh should I just do all of them like this? All up in your face. And here we have Papier Plume Iron Lace, which is really nice. I had this in a pen for a hot minute, but I don't remember which one. But I remember liking it quite a lot. Whoa. I don't... Oh, now we're not going to focus. I understand. I see how it is. I try to do something cool for the viewers, and then you just betray me. What are you doing? Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Honey. Honey, I'm right here. Look, look at me. What is happening? There we go. Okay. Hello. How are you? How are we doing? It's like a deep, deep forest green gray. Ooh, there's that tiny bit of sheen there. That's really nice. That's some good variation, too. Excellent. Excellent ink. <clears throat> and here we have Kakimori Pink Lemonated, which I think this is one of those, like, looks opaque in the vial things. Oh, it's one of ones, isn't it? Mm, nope, that's not it. Yeah! It's like opaque. In the vial. <laughs> Very interesting. So where it's laid on super thick, you get this kind of like... I don't know, it looks almost crusty now, but... An interesting interaction with the, the paper fibers. This is a really great pink. Super up my alley. Look at that variation there. Ooh. Absolutely scrumptious. Very recommend. Uh, I think this is the only cocky more I have. It's really pretty. And uh, now we have Robert Oster Citrus, which is like, what by him? Just like compared with all of the rest of these, this is just bananas. Like, holy crap, this is such a bright lime green. Um, what is this? Diamond Meadow Green? Is that the one that I have that's um, kind of similar? But holy shit balls, <laughs> look at that. Excellent variation, too, like where it, uh, like from the swatch, kind of ate up into the letter. And that halo effect around the outside, and that really dark part. Oh, it's kind of sheeny. It's like a navy blue sheen. Dope. We love that. This is super good. Definitely pops. I don't know if I'd quite call it highlighter. I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> it's not, it's not quite that obnoxious. <clears throat> Robert Oster Citrus, Oster Oster Toaster Foster, and he, mm, delicious, Sailor Studio 252, look at that multi-shading gloriousness, it's not quite as obvious as some of the other ones, because it's, it's like, just pink to purple, 
but you can definitely see it. Purpley, purpley gray, amazing shading. Ridiculous price tag. <laughs> but you know what? I didn't buy it. <laughs> Who cares? They are really pretty. Super good. Glad I have a bottle. Another thing I have a bottle of Ferris Wheel Press. Pr nope. I, I totally thought I said that wrong, but I didn't. Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose in Gold. Lady. Oh, <clears throat> oh God, my Agatha voice is drained. She has laryngitis. She cannot come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's just Lady Rose with Gold Shimmer. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Let's see. Can we get more of the shimmer to show up? It's a little better. But yeah. Nice fine shimmer too. Rub off. Yeah, a little bit. It's not too bad. But hell yeah. Love Lady Rose. As anybody who's seen this channel will know. Um, yeah. And you know, tot I, I don't. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure this is the bottle. The bottle has no like English name on it. I had to go look at the website. I said, like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, here it is. Oh, I wrote down the translation somewhere, but I don't remember where I put it. But it's it's really cool, um, like a really dark gray with pink it looks like multicolored shimmer it's a lot it's not just like pink and gold and stuff it's like it's a whole damn town really pretty shimmer and aho gareno pink no butsudan i didn't even try to pronounce that with any specificity <laughs> um but that's what it is it's the one that has the pen with the writing Big chubby pink fella. But yeah, that's really nice. I have yet to use this in a pen, but I imagine it will fare quite nicely. Imagine a nice juicy broad. Ooh, I might do that. Um, in this guy after the shiny black is done, because I feel like they're they're pretty twinny. Except shiny black is m definitely more explosive. <clears throat> this shimmer is really tiny and almost kind of subtle. Like you can turn it away and not really see it, but any direction you look at the shiny black on, it's like whoa, boy, um, hubba hubba. And this is like definitely a darker black than than this. But I would imagine in a, I think enough nib, wet enough rider. Get some pretty dark writing out of that. Real nice. Love that. And here. Van Diemen's Winter Huan Festival. If someone showed me this swatch card and said that it was one of those, like, acrylic calligraphy inks that you never want to put in a fountain pen... I would probably believe them for the most part. I'd be like, yeah, that I mean that makes sense. Yeah. This is no, this is fountain pen ink. I don't know if the sample I have just has way more shimmer than uh anything else is supposed to have, but this is bananas. This is so bonkers. Um you can kind of tell there it's brown. Kind of similar to a to pretzel. Except this one's a little cooler. But like, holy shit. Crazy ink. This halo effect on the writing. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is so pretty. Blew my mind once, once I swatched it. I was like, this, this is an ink that you could put in a fountain pen and not die? What? D-I-E, not D-Y-E. 
It is almost certainly DYE. Oh my god, how do they do it? How do they do it? And I... It rubs off a little bit, if you rub it. But, whatever, who cares? It's worth it. You can still definitely see where that was. On the thing, it's not going to take away the shimmer or anything. Holy crap! Holy crap, I can't breathe. And here you can see it on the, uh... The TR. <coughs> yeah. Shakespeare. Really pretty. It's so good. It sticks out like a sore thumb on this page. It's crazy pants. Um, oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I did not think through my casual tossing of the cards. Next page. This one. Oh wait, and here's the they're kind of backwards on this paper. Ooh. That dewberry get got really dark on this cotton paper. Pink lemonade, it's got such an awesome texture. It like sinks in between the paper fibers. And... I mean, this paper got excellent texture anyway, but that really, really brings it out. Super nice, we love that. 252. Oh. Hell yeah, okay. Next, Birmingham Antique Sepia. Camera hates this ink, apparently. It is not that green. There is some green underneath. Yeah, I, I maybe shouldn't even show it. Yeah, it is not this color. This is not the color that it is in person. It's like a pinky kind of brown gray. Like green. There's the green underneath, but it's not. It's not like that. <laughs> Enough. Anyway, it's very pretty and I love it. It's super good. Here's Hemlock Cone. Now, this is pretty accurate. Maybe turning a little bit more gray than, than it is in person, but it's really nice. Deep brown goes to a really light kind of pinky brown. Really nice. This might be my favorite of the. Uh, the Birmingham Browns I've swatched so far. It's like an animal hide. So good. Oh, and now we have a bunch of color verses. Amazing. Love it. Here we have CoStar. I love it. Everybody would know that I would love this. Super nice gray. Kind of like a brownie. A lot of nice variation. I would love to see a chromatography of it. I bet it's really good. Super good. Lovely, amazing warm gray. Shading in between. So good. Amazing. Amazing. Colorverse always knocks it out of the park. Not even a question. <laughs> Here we have Crab Nebula. Look at that violet. Look, 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 look at that violet sheen. That is incredible. This is an excellent green. Definitely one of my favorite kind of shades of green that, that come out. An excellent tone. Cool ass shading. Really nice. It looks almost black when it's really dark there. Like a black with purple sheen to just a really excellent green. Whoa. Oh my god. And my camera hates it. 
That's fine. I understand. You're just jealous. You can't be shiny purple like Crab Nebula. Sounds like a super villain. Here we have Tono and Limbs Hematite, which is interesting. I would have expected Hematite to be like a like a gray with like a reddish shimmer, but this is purple. It's warmer than it is appearing right now on the camera. It's got that really nice pink shimmer. Hematite is a metallic looking stone. The inside is red. It's really awesome. It breaks super easy though. But it's nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Scrumptious. Love that. And here we have Culliver's Horsehead Nebula, which is this fabulous magenta with multicolored shimmer. It looks like blue and like a red? Blue and red shimmer. It's really nice. Super cool. Very sparkly. Very, very bright. It's not, you know, citrus bright. But as far as everything we have gone through other than that so far, it really pops. Colorverse. Again, just being amazing. We stand. We stand Colorverse. Another shimmer. Oh, I think. Are the rest of these shimmers? No. Okay. Here we have Robert Oster, Oster Toaster Foster, Rose Gold Antiqua. You know, you got a rosy color underneath. A gold shimmer. Like that antique gold shimmer. Really nice. It's really consistent in the writing. I use a glass nib for that. Um, this guy. Moonman N6. It is excellent. We love this thing. Super useful. It also comes with like a regular nib if you don't want the glass part. The glass part. Um, incredibly useful for the doing of the swatches. Real nice. I like that amazing variation. <clears throat> Shazam! Alright, and here we have Sailor Washington. Excellent, perfect color. It's so good. Really evokes that kind of evergreen tone, but with like cloudy skies. It's really, really good. I think all of the state sinks that I have so far are fabulous. The sailor's usually good about making interesting and delicious inks. Because they also make interesting and delicious pens. And not they're not that interesting, <laughs> let's be real. Um, but we love we love Sailor. Sailor's good. Gold, like underneath. Uh, there might be a little bit of shimmer left in it, in it from a from the brush or something like that. But yeah, cool. Kind of like a golden haze over it. Real nice. And here we have the other one, Sailor Georgia. This is an excellent color. It's so interesting. It reminds me of. Uh, Ferris Wheel Press Goose Poupon. Do I have that at the ready? I don't think so. Which one is it in? Holy crap, this is why I need it organized. Oh wait, it's in this one. Oh, it is way different from Goose Poupon. I don't know what I was thinking. This is definitely more yellow, more saturated, as far as color goes. And then Georgia has this really awesome rusty sheen all over it. It's so cool! 
It's so cool. I love this ink. This is absolutely excellent. Look at that. That rusty sheen on this like dirty green color. Oh my god. Just just take my heart, will you? Just do it. You don't have to try this hard, Sailor. It's fine. I love you. Oh my god, that's so good. It's so good. It makes me so happy. I'm I'm glad to be making front pen videos again. I don't know what I've been thinking, not doing it for so long. I'm gonna look back on it and be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Everything is fine. Everyone loves you. Don't worry about it. It's like, no, they should hate me. Um, but anyway, this is Sailor Idaho. Look at that sheen in the writing. It's like, it's like Halo plus sheen plus delicious. It's really nice. So this has kind of like a foresty green kind of sheen on it. And this is really nice dark brown underneath. Very potato. We love potato. Potato is multi-purpose and abundant. Really nice. Super, super good. <clears throat> but yeah, really dark. Really dark. almost black but it's just brown enough that you can tell it's kind of brown excellent absolutely superb here we have uh tacha ume murasaki oh no i have a bunch of japanese to pronounce oh no here we go it's fine this is really pretty it's um like a dusty mauve it's a little bit more saturated than it currently appears not really anything I can do about that. It has a green sheen. Yeah, it's a nice bright little spot there. It's really good. <clears throat> I don't really see any of the sheen in the writing, but it definitely has a halo. It's really pretty. Nice, nice, and dusty. That kind of green haze over it, and then just explodes in a little bit. Really pretty. I hope I wrote these names down correctly. I might have to do some googling. And here we have Nakamura Saki. I don't remember any of the translations for these, so please bear with me. Um, but that is apparently what it is called on the website. Really nice royally kind of purple. But also a little, kind of a little dusty. It's not like as crazy saturated as, you know, another kind of royal purple. But I don't know. I see this. I think a royalty. Let's just let me have giant plush cloaks that are this purple and inside. But yeah, not like crazy variation, but you get a little bit of shading, <clears throat> some haloing, all that stuff. Real nice. Here, Arnezu, something like that. This is gray, looking cooler on camera than it is in person, so like adjust your eyes accordingly nice cool gray has some kind of like black sheen it's really interesting with that kind of like reddish rusty pop some nice variation probably some finger grease got in the way there but you know that happens we all deal with it it's nice now this one, oh, I got Vinta Kislap. Oh, are you? Oh, okay, okay. You can kind of see all of that multi shading goodness all around here. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's kind of um, it's kind of Petrichory, but it's by Vinta. And it's a crazy 
baby blue shimmer. Maybe it's kind of like a baby aqua. Something like that. But yeah, it is making exposure values freak the fuck out. Oh my god, I'm gonna blind you with the top of that card. That's crazy. Maybe no, that's way too dark. But this is a really awesome shimmer. Um kinda has that problem the vintage shimmers have, where it kind of turns into eyeshadow. <laughs> if you uh if you rub it a little too much. I'm not gonna try and like scrape it, but <clears throat> I think it's worth it. This is crazy pretty. Use it on like a card or something. Really pretty. <laughs> it's definitely more more like a gray purple in person. It's not quite as blue. But it looks blue because of the shimmer. But it's it's not actually blue! Amazing. It's a blue that isn't blue. Awesome. And this looks incredible on Tumblr. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that eroded bronze. Is that what that is? Did I get to say the wrong one? Or is that antique sepia? Uh, that's antique sepia. Okay. Eroded bronze. Look at that. Ooh, that's so good. And that horse head nebula and the shimmer there is really nice. The hand is tight. What was this one? I just talked about it. What? Oh, that's the uh, rose gold. That purple. It's really nice there. Oh, great! That co-star. Oh, so good. Yeah, look at that. That's incredible. So here's the rest of those. Um, the Midori. That horse head's really, really coming out there. Really nice. Not... Oh, wait. Nope, nope. You do get a lot of shape. I was looking at it through the viewfinder. So it's... Of course, betraying the utter beauty of multi-shading sparkly goodness. Super fantastic. I am just so covered in beer. Oh, my thumb is now. Worth. Okay. Oh, and now last one. Oh. Well, last stack, <laughs> not last one. Um, no, we'll, we'll just keep those out. It'll be good for thumbnail later. <laughs> All right. Now the other in Birmingham. Ah, oh, again, camera hates it. Um, <clears throat> Birmingham multi shader. Yep, yep. <laughs> Camera hates multi shaders. It's like I don't know what fucking color this is, and I'm like, bitch, I don't either. Just pick one. <laughs> he was like, fine, it's this one. It's like, how dare you betray me? Oh, uh, you can't see any of the the pink that's under there. It's not, I mean, it's definitely like a blue kind of color, but there's a lot more pink here. It looks kind of purple in person. Oh, that sucks. I wish there was a way that I could photograph this well. Let me know if any of you have done, like, you know, pen pictures and stuff like that, and how you are able to extract all of the beauty out of a delicious multi shader. Because I don't know. I don't know. Here, Sailor Chingaya. Oh boy, um, 
Look at that sheen. Look at it. Super dark inky ink. That, like pitch black. Really amazing. That sheen is bonkers. It's everywhere. There's only like this tiny little bit here. It doesn't have all of that wonderful sheen. And even then it has some. It's just like a haze instead of like a wabam, you know? Super pretty. Real good. It's in all of the writing. You like you want a sheeny black. That's a good one. Absolutely. Awesome. Here we have Diamond Rider's Blood. I hate the name. I hate it. I hate it. What is like Rider's Blood even? Is that like a saying? Do people talk about Rider's Blood? I don't know. We're gonna. It's, it's fine. Reddit is gonna be Reddit, and it's gonna do Reddit things, like really bizarre, tacky names for their diamine collaborations. Like Aurora Borealis does not remind me of Aurora Borealis at all. I feel like people just voted on it because Aurora Borealis sounds really cool, but that ink inspires nothing of Aurora Borealis. Earl Grey is okay. I mean, that's fine, but <clears throat> writer's blood, that's, that's, that's too much even for me. If it's too much for me, you really have a problem, but it's a pretty ink. Anyway, ranting aside, all that, that penergy, raw, unfiltered penergy. This is like the best comments that I've received in the last like three years. <laughs> Oh my goodness, see, now the camera doesn't even want to focus on it because I, like, insulted Reddit or something, I don't know. It's like, how dare you? But it's pretty. It's a really nice deep dark red. Kind of, like, cooler undertones. Got some nice sheen around the edges. Kind of like a gold. Green kind of gold. This like deep, deep maroon. It's nice. It's really nice. But that name. <laughs> oh my god. Does anybody else feel that way about it? Or am I just being extra to be extra? Oh my god. I spit on the Neatromantis Tungsten Purple. <laughs> it's what I deserve. It's fine. But this ink does not deserve to be spat on. It is a very nice purple. Um, here's that Tatcha. Darker, cooler. <clears throat> a little bit. It's pretty purple. Purple with some gold sheen. We love that. Purple with gold sheen is a hit. Everybody loves it. I think. At least a good chunk of people do. Yo. Sweetie. No. Why are you doing this to me? You dirty crab. Why would you do this? Why would, why would you do this? Oh my god. Ugh. Technical difficulties. Thank you for standing by. Why do you hate me? I understand. It's fine. It's okay. Not bad. Standard run of the mill purple. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't feel very strongly about some of these, but they're they're nice. They're nice. I'm not complaining. And here we have Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz. Really excellent brown. Really like warm in these spots, but get really dark right here. Edelsteins are usually pretty great from what I know. I think I've only tried this one and the Moonstone. Unless I got a sample on like a really, really, really old ink flight of some of the other um, Pelican inks. I might have tried Star Ruby. 
But whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We are talking about smoky quartz. Really pretty. Excellent shading. Wonderful variation. We get some nice halos. Nope, can't really see it. It's not that intense, but it's nice. Really pretty ink. I wish I remembered how, like, wet or dry some of these inks were, but I didn't put them in, like, an actual pen pen, so... <laughs> We're just dealing with the way I am reacting to them immediately at this very moment. It's nice. Is there like too much stuff going on at the bottom there? Here we go. Color for C Europa. Beautiful. Reminds me a lot of brunch date, but this is definitely more pink. But it has that same kind of dusty quality to it. That's super pretty. I really like it. It's nice and dark over here, but it can also be really, really pale. Like baby pink. Super good. Love this color. I think I have two samples of this. I am not complaining. What is that line there? What happened? Is that just, did the ink just do that? Whatever, it's kind of cool, actually, so I'm not going to complain. Really. All right, and now we have the, the Alpha series of color verses. Look at this pink. Look at this. Look at it. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's out of focus, but look at it. Maybe we can get it in focus. Yeah! Oh, look at that. Look at that shading. The difference between like that and that. Oh, this is perfect. This is such a good pink. Like S tier pink. <clears throat> no doubt. Kind of reminiscent of um, Graf von Faber Castell Yosakura. But I think I might like this one a little bit more. It's, oh, it's super good. That's those halos. Like I can't. Amazing pink. Absolutely excellent. Hell yeah. Get up in there for a second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And here we have Alpha and really pretty. Um it's you see that? That's that that's like that in real life too. I don't know what happened there. I like wet or something but it, it goes mm, this is another one of those multi shaders my camera hates but it goes from this really nice like medium gray into this really pale kind of cool gray but there's blue underneath like this blue that you see here is not primary it would seem it's like a gray with like a blue undershade really nice Really pretty. I wish that I could share with you the beautiful complexities of this amazing Alpha And. It's really nice. This whole series is delicious. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Oh, but that's so like bright. I don't like blue, but I like this. I like this a lot. Maybe we can start to see it a little bit there. I don't know. I'm just trying to force it. <laughs> and here we have Alpha Ori. Look at that that whole ass line of bright gold sheen. It's so pretty. This is a punch in the face orange. My camera hates it again. It is a lot kind of brighter in person. Is that a little, that might be a little better actually. Look at that sheen. And that shading. And the way the sheen interacts with it to make it look like even more shading. Excuse me. It was disgusting. But like, oh my god. It's so good. It's so bright. This is like diamine pumpkin orange. <clears throat> but it has that incredible 
it's kind of like a greeny gold. You're not really seeing a whole lot of the green, but it is ridiculous. I can't, I still can't get over this like just straight ass line of sheen. Amazing. This collection is stellar. Pun intended. Ha ha. Um, <clears throat> next is Alpha Uma. Oh, my camera doesn't hate this one quite as much as the other multi-shaders. But it's like a, this green underneath. And then, or maybe it's the green on the top. And then underneath is like this deep, cool gray. But yeah, that's definitely more visible. It's really nice. It reminds me of like if the multi-shading aspects of matter were kicked up a notch. It has a little bit more green in it. But this is an awesome gray. I adore this kind of gray. It's really, really cool. Look at that shading. That halo and then this... Mm. Oh, look at that. so good. It's so good. I love it. 45 minutes already? What the... Oh, I, it's fine. We're almost done. Almost done. It's that raw, unfiltered pen energy again. I can't. I can't hold it back. Look at that purple there. Oh, so good. Here we have Alpha Scorpii. Really, really pretty. Um, it's compared to Boo. It looks orange compared to Boo, but it's pink. <clears throat> or kind of pink. So there's a C Europa. Definitely a dustier color. This reminds me a lot of a, um, like a less muted brunch date by Colorverse. I don't have the swatch handy, of course, because why would I do that? That would be being prepared, and I cannot do that. I absolutely refuse. Check that shading there. It's really pretty, really pretty color. Kind of... Mm. It's got a little bit of like a multi-shader quality. Like this part here is like very yellow in person. Oh, and there's a like just shimmer all over it. <laughs> um, anyway, that is not from this ink. It is just there. It's really pretty. All right, next Joe. Is that PSC? Alpha PSC? I don't. PSE. I can't read my own writing. And I don't even write that bad like I used to. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a really nice pale green. A greeny gray. Or a grayish green. Definitely more on the green side. Really pretty though. That shading is stellar. I keep calling it stellar when it's color first. And I didn't even mean to do it that time. Whoa. Whoa. Motion sickness. I'm sorry. Thank you. And is autofocus going to be a jerk now? Or are we going to work together to make the world a better place? We're not going to work together to make the world a better place. We're just going to frustrate the host. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Kind of like gray there. Green. Yeah, kind of It's complex. It's got some complexity to it. It's really nice. Again, this whole collection is just stunning. Love that. Oh, I should put these in order so that I can... Oh, do the description. It's fine. I'll just have to figure it out later. <laughs> and then Colorverse Alpha Sea I mean, it's a blue. I just wanted the whole set. <laughs> uh, I could probably do without this one in my personal collection. But it's really pretty. It's a really nice kind of grayish blue. Uh, like that cobalt crayon kind of color. It also has a little bit of complexity to it, like down there. A bit of purple. I don't think that's from something else. I think that's this ink. Also, excellent shading. Of course, that is a glass dip pen. And this is a coloring card. Your results may vary, obviously, of course. 
Everything here is subjective. Shazam. Excellent. Love that. And here, Alpha Agni? Ag 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 Agni? Igni? Wiggly? Um, but it's blue, blue shimmer. Okay, sweetie, you gotta quit doing this to me. There we go. That's better. Oh, look at that. And all that shimmer, that really, really nice, fine shimmer. It's all over the place. Again, it's a blue, but, you know. It has that, that quality, like, uh... It's like a legible Ferris wheel press blue cotton candy, as far as color goes. It's it's n nice for blue. Like that, that shimmer though, that shimmer is excellent. A little bit of, a little bit of like a gray green kind of color underneath there. That's really pretty. Sparkle Dazzle. <laughs> anyway, I'm fine. I hope I didn't just, like, breathe wholeheadedly into the microphone. <laughs> uh, but here's Colorverse Mystic Mountain. There's another blue with shimmer. Not the same color. These are all different enough. This one's more like a middle-of-the-road blue, but it's also kind of gray. But it has that excellent pink shimmer all over. Excellent. Look at it in that writing there. Like where it's super thick. Beautiful. You don't see it quite as much in the uh, <coughs> in the cursive writing. It's still there. You get a little twinkle out of it. But in that printing is really where it really shines. Pun, <laughs> pun intended. Again, here we go. Well, like, look at how deep that can go. And how light it can go. Really cool. And here we have Troublemaker Autumn Rain Gray. Look at that! I don't know why it's called autumn rain gray when it's absolutely a green. Like, there's no way this is a gray. This is green. This is green as fuck. That awesome silver shimmer. It's super pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. Troublemaker also has a habit of knocking it out of the park. No doubt. I can't wait to see more of their shimmers. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. And let me have that like lightness there, but holy crap, this shimmer is bananas. It is absolutely up there in your face, no holds barred. It's just there. It's it's here. It is ready. Ready to dazzle you into oblivion. Super nice. Kind of wish I had a bottle of it, but I don't need it. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. gotcha that time. I do not need any more bottles of ink. I have so many bottles of ink. I can't, I will never, ever, 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 ever. If I live to be 487, I will not be able to go through all of these bottles of ink. Um, but anyway, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. We're fountain pen users. We're we've all been sucked into the bullshit consumers black hole of death and misery, but also sometimes pleasure. Um, it's fine. That's fine. I can bathe in it. Take a shower in ink. Speaking of showers, Ferris Press April showers. These are the last Ferris Wheel Press inks that um I got. Sorry for ghosting you, by the way, Ferris Wheel Press. I, um, you know, I was having a moment. But thank you so much for all the free shit you sent me before. But this is really nice. This is really, really nice. This is an excellent gray with silver shimmer. They have been doing so many shimmers lately. It's getting a little ridiculous. But still, 
This is really, really nice. It's like medium enough to be legible, but it's still light enough to have really good shading. And the shimmer is pretty good too. It's kind of understated, especially compared to something like this. Like this just like looks a whole ass metallic and the particles are a lot bigger. This is really nice and fine and subtle. And you know, it kind of, it definitely brings up the vibe of like a gentle rain in April. Super good. Really amazing. And next we have Morningside Mint. I don't remember when this collection came out. Um, but it did at some point. I think it was this year. Morningside Mint. Nice minty color. This is pretty great. Um, it's looking a little bit more bluish on the camera. But that's a thing that happens sometimes. We make sacrifices. That's pretty excellent shading. Look at that. That halo there is laid on really thick and just that straight up line at the top. I love it when it does that. This is really pretty mint. It's very Lady Gaga, you and I era wig mint. It's really cool. Really, I can't get over these splotches there. That's so cool. Love that. Love that. And last, not least, she's beautiful. Lady Rose's aunt-in-law twice removed, uh, Madame Mulberry. It's really nice mauve gray or grayish mauve. I don't know. It's somewhere in the middle. I can't decide if it's more mauve or more gray. It's really nice, nice and dusty. Kind of dusty. Again, it has that whole ass line at the top. Oh, we love that. And then that excellent haloing around the wettest parts. This is so pretty. I can't wait to put this in a pen and use it. Like in a broad nib, this ink will sing like Sarah Brightman. <laughs> Just, oh, and the way you can see the texture underneath that writing there. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Hell yes. Love that. Okay, cool. That is <clears throat> that is all of the everything. Here is oh, oh, so many cards, so many cards. Oh my god! But here it is on the Tomori River. Oh, I think it was this way, <laughs> but whatever. Yes, I think. See Europa, probably. Uh, I think this is the boo. God, I can't find anything. Whatever. It's, cool. it's okay. I already went through what they are. Here's just what they look like. Oh, that's Sailor Chigaya. Isn't that? Haloing around Madame Mulberry again. Oh, and that that Morningside Mint really sings on this paper. Autumn Rain Gray again. Blues. The April showers, the halo, scrumptious, stupendously spectacular, and a variation that just purple and gray. Mm. Real nice, absolutely stunning. Hey there again. Oh, all oh, the way it makes this one. The, like chartreuse underneath just pop it is excellent 
boo. It's such a good pink. But yeah, hell yeah. Here we go. Yeah, thank you for hanging out with me for the last hour and going through all of these delicious swatchy funsies. We love that. I'm going to have more stuff to swatch relatively soon. Um, because man is a crazy person and refuses to ever stop sending me shit. But I'm not complaining. I am delighting in it every day of every week. Look at all of this stuff. Holy cow. Amazing. Amazing. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Come on, get out there. Show us, show us what you got. Oh, that Shakespeare taken the spotlight in the middle. So good. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for being nice and amazing. And I love you. Bunch of Nazis. Have fun. Goodbye.